Welcome back. April 26th, National Pretzel Day. Love pretzels. But what I love even more than pretzels is what we're going to do today, or try to do today. Never done this one before. Uh, last year I was fortunate enough that uh, friends of mine surprised me and took me to dinner at La Bernadette in, in the city, which is Eric Repair's seafood place, which was amazing. I mean, really like food life altering experience. I mean, if you've never gone, go once at least just to try it. I know it's a little pricey, um, but it was really amazing. And the thing I really loved was at some point during dinner, they, well, many points during dinner, they come around with this bread basket and they ask you what kind of bread you like. And they have all these different you know, rolls and breads and, st I mean, just, and they let you, you know, they pick it and they give you what you want. And in this basket of breads was these amazing pretzel rolls. I mean, I must have had like five or six pretzel rolls. That's how good they were. So that's what we're going to try to do today is make these pretzel rolls. They were fantastic. So I hope this one really works. Uh, if it does, jump on board and do it too. I mean, we pretty much mastered the sourdough thing. I've done that like five times now. If you haven't done the sourdough bread, homemade sourdough, go watch that video and do that one. I mean that, I've kind of got down now. So I may never have to buy bread again if these things keep working out like this. Alrighty, so I'll show you what we need today. It's not many ingredients, few steps, and we're gonna see if we can pull this one off. Alrighty, be right back. Okay, for our pretzel rolls today, you will need one and three quarter cup of all purpose flour, a tablespoon of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of baking soda, one egg, a half a teaspoon of instant yeast, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so this is one of those recipes that you gotta let the dough sit for like an hour, so don't start preheating your oven yet. We'll let you know when to do that. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is take your flour, your yeast, and your salt, and mix those together, okay? In your mixer here with your bread hook, you're going to take your flour, add that to the bowl, okay. You're going to put in your tablespoon of butter. I cut it up into little cubes hoping it would mix a little better, okay. Turn that on low, get that mixing up. And then what you're going to do, 120 degrees, you need your water, three quarter cup of water. You're just going to slowly uh, add that to your dough mix, okay? Okay, and then once that water is added, just going to let this work and knead for about 10 minutes, okay? Just let that keep going. It'll turn into a ball, according to what I saw. So you just let that go for about 10 minutes, and we'll be back to show you the next step, okay? And then once you're done, you get this nice ball of dough here. And what you're going to do is try to shape it if you can, and then we're going to cut it into four. This makes four pretzel rolls, okay? So we kind of want them to be as even as possible. Um, I don't have a scale to measure the weight of each, which would probably be better, but that's okay. Okay. So then what you do is take your four pieces, we're going to take one and we're going to roll it into a ball. And what we're going to do is try to pinch it so it's really nice and round on the bottom. Okay, just I guess pinch that all together because you don't want cracks. See how it's very cracked, the dough? So you don't want that, you kind of want to make it into a ball. 
let's make it a tool ball again. See, this is why we try these things and you try to do them the way they do them and sometimes it doesn't work the way that they do it. But what you're trying to do is just pinch it all to one side so the dough gets very much, very smooth on one side. Almost like you're making like a, a pouch or what looks like a pouch, you know, like a, a ball, but with the top all pinched here and then we'll work this down into a nice smooth ball. See, it's because you want like a smooth, a smooth surface. You don't want like these cracks and stuff. That's what I'm guessing because I'm assuming if you do that, it's going to, uh, it's not going to be as pretty. Okay, so. Okay, so there's our four little dough balls. Okay, they're kind of smooth on the top as you can see. Okay, when you roll them, you're going to, and you do the pinching thing, you're going to have some cracks on the bottom. You just try to put them together as best you can, but there's really, from what I'm finding, you keep, there's not much you can do about it. So you're going to keep that on the bottom. That'll be the bottom of your roll anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so there's our four. What I did was I ran this plate under warm or hot water just to warm it up, dried it, made sure it's really dry. But just to warm up the plate a little, because now you've got to cover this dough and you've got to let it sit for an hour to rise, okay? So we'll do that, then we'll come back to show you how you boil them in the baking soda and brush them with egg and get them in the oven, okay? So see you in a little bit, about an hour. All right, so they rose, I guess, as much as they're going to rise after an hour. So now let's get the rest of this going here. 425 on your oven, get that going. We got a pot of water here boiling. What you're going to do is, once it gets boiling, which it's pretty good right now, you're going to sprinkle in your baking soda and as you see it fizzes up when you do that. So just do a little at a time. Okay. I just want to make sure we just stir that a little bit, get that all going there. Once that's done, you're going to take it off the heat because you want it to stop boiling. And what you're going to do is take your dough and drop them in the water 30 seconds each side. Okay? So we're just going to drop them in and then we're going to flip them over. Okay? About 30 seconds each which isn't too long, so also I'll tell you the rest. Make sure you have uh, your egg, beat your egg, and get your pastry brush ready to go. Uh, cookie sheet, parchment paper, we're gonna put those right on here. Okay. I guess that's about 30 seconds, right? So I'm just gonna flip them over. It smells kind of pretzely. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to smell them right away, but, okay, so about 30 seconds on each side. Then we're going to strain them and put them right onto our parchment paper. So there they are, out of the water. Now what you're going to do is take your beaten egg, and you're just going to brush these with your egg, because that's what's going to give it that, that great... Uh, crusty color that you get, that brown crusty pretzel cr color on the outside. So you just want to brush these pretty good. Okay. After you brush them, take a serrated knife and what you're going to do is make an X across the top of your dough ball here. Okay. Now, some of the dough balls seem like they have some cracks in them, so I don't know how they're going to bake, but that's what you want to do. See how you make an X in the top of that there? That's what you want to do to all of them, because when they bake up, they make that, looks like a pretzel. It's really cool. Okay. Okay, there they are, all scored on the top. Going to go into our 425 oven for 18 minutes. Baking, keep your eye. These are going to be really cool if they come out right, and like I said, with the sourdough, I may never buy bread again. I never buy pretzel rolls and if these work I'm making these like forever. Alrighty? 
be back for the reveal when they come out of the oven. We'll see if we pulled it off or not. All right, I haven't peeked. Let's see how we did. Hey, hey, hey. Pretzel rolls. I am super stoked right now. That is exactly what I wanted. Wow, that looks awesome. I can't wait to try one of these. All right, we gotta let them cool down a little bit and then figure out what we're gonna put on them. I mean, you taste them by itself first, but we need something for this. I don't know what to put on this today. I'm very, very excited today. I will never buy pretzel rolls again. Not that I ever did before. <laughs> See you in a bit when we taste these. All right, let's try one of these. They're nice and soft like a, so like a soft pretzel. So that's what's really cool about this. Let's break one open and see. Make sure you have, look at that. It's like a pretzel. Let's taste the inside. Mmm. Wow. I'm super, super excited to... The only thing that they probably could have used is when I brushed it with the egg, put some nice pretzel salt on it so they'd be salty on the top next time we're doing that because we're definitely doing these again. But I'm just going to take a little bit of butter and let's just spread it. Give it a taste. Mm. Amazing. Definitely do these. Super easy. Didn't know they were going to come out as good as they did. Next time I'm double or tripling the recipe so I have them for a couple days. But we're going to find out some. You'll be seeing these again throughout the year when we have other shows. I'm going to incorporate this into something else. Definitely something I'm doing again. Alrighty. Happy Pretzel Day, everybody. See you tomorrow.